G'day folks, if you're seeing this, we're just getting set up. I'm about to do another test live stream, so just bear with me whilst we uh, get everything set up. I know we're coming through on YouTube now, so welcome to our YouTube people. Um, please let me know where you're calling in from, just while I get things set up here. This is a test video, I will do a little bit of painting, but really just getting, uh, getting a handle on our new live broadcast system here and what we need to fix and improve um, but please yeah let me know where whereabouts are you guys all um, chatting or dialing in from tuning in from that would be awesome and don't know that our Facebook's joined us yet I oh, know Facebook's no Okay, we're about to get started in a moment. In a moment. No, it hasn't connected to Facebook Live. Just give me one second, folks have already tuned in. I'm almost there, almost there. Um, hmm. um, Paint with Mark, we will be, I'm just getting things set up, so I'll uh, have the video in one moment. Just bear with me. Just trying to make sure we are coming through on Facebook as well. Yeah, no video coming through just yet, Sandra, so uh, I'll be getting that connected shortly. Okay. It's saying that's connected on Facebook, but... Okay, just testing everything. So for those who are just joining us, um, what I'm attempting to do is to be able to stream to uh, YouTube, Facebook and a couple of other platforms at the same time. So this is really a test video. I will do a little bit of painting, um, but it's pretty much a test video uh, just to see how that goes. Thanks, I shoot nuke on. Um, still working on our settings here, mate. Uh, we'll get it sorted out shortly. Appreciate your feedback, though.
Okay, video is coming through on Facebook now. All right. Good o. G'day everyone, thank you very much for your patience. Um, as I said, this is a test video, just working on getting our live stream setups all working. And uh, I think we've got it sorted out now. What I'm working on doing, if you've caught my live streams over the last few days, is setting up a live stream broadcast uh, system where we can broadcast to you know um, multiple platforms all at the same time, reach out to as big an audience as we can. So right at the moment, we're streaming on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch and uh, Periscope, and we'll be adding more streams to that uh, later on. Just want to do a shout out to a few people. Um, yesterday I sent out, I recorded a video talking about the live stream broadcast and um, what we're doing, and, and talking about how we're really working on setting up a, a platform where we can, um, you know, have a, a studio set up where we've got multiple camera angles and so on. Um, but obviously, all of that requires a uh, um, upgrading all the equipment and having pro equipment so um, I put out a video yesterday saying hey you know we need your help and if you uh, take up the opportunity to become a lifetime member of the learn to paint Academy which um, quite a few of you did so I appreciate that um, you get to save 50% and uh, you get lifetime access to all of our courses and videos and all of the money raised through that promotion is going back into better equipment. And I had a few problems yesterday. The computer basically overheated and, and couldn't cope with the live stream. So one of the very first things I'll do is upgrade the computer and, and we'll progressively get better and better at what we do so we can bring you a multi-camera shoot um, live stream video. So I want to just do a shout out to those people who took up the offer um, overnight. So Martha um, Bloomquist, thank you very much. Colin Brown, uh, Pat Wargent, Frank, and forgive me if I don't get your surname, Sue, Sue Dolanik, um, thank you, Heather Bowers, and Carla Heron, thank you to you guys, I really appreciate it, and all the money uh, that you've um, invested for your lifetime membership is going to go back into better equipment here in the studio so we can produce better quality videos for you and so on. So um, while we're just getting underway here, I am gonna do a little bit of painting here by way of test, testing out the equipment and everything, Please let me know where you're tuning in from. G'day, Catherine. G'day, John. Welcome. Um, so, yeah, just leave in the comments there whereabouts in the world you are. Um, and uh, love to know where everyone's tuning in from and so on. So we're going to have a little bit of fun. I, I started doing this little landscape as a test yesterday. And uh, that's when the computer overheated, so we only got so far with it. But it's about learning, you know. So I'm still learning how to do... Uh, the multi-camera shoots and everything um, all at the one time. So let us just get some paint. So that was the palette I was using yesterday. I'll talk you through it as we, uh, as we go, but I'll just need to get some fresh paint out because acrylics dry fast. So if you're not familiar with what we do, um, Learn to Paint Academy. It's all about helping beginners uh, learn to paint in a simple, easy way. G'day Yvonne, welcome. We're just doing a test, another live stream test today. And uh, I think I've sorted out most of the problems that we had over the last few days. And we can only get better from here, I believe. We can only get better from here. So I'll talk you through the colors in one sec. Let me just pop those out. And uh, yeah, where is everyone in the world? Um, love to know where you're tuning in from. So type it in the comments. Well, I put some paint out. Now, I am using the Artilia Interactive Paints here. Um, great brand of acrylic paint. They, they should really sponsor me because I promote them all the time. <laughs> uh, but I, I think as a, if you're looking for a good quality acrylic paint, they're a terrific paint because they... Uh, G'day, Sue. Um, they're, they're nice and viscous. They're, they're great to paint with. They feel almost like an oil paint. But more importantly, you can rehydrate them so you get more time to work into them. Um, so I just want to check in. Is the audio working okay? Because I'm trying a different audio system from yesterday and I'm hoping it's slightly better. 
And um, just let, let me know in the comments there if the audio is good. I'd appreciate it. And uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. Greatly appreciated. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Let me talk you through these paints here. So we have French Ultramarine Blue is my blue. It's a warm blue. Um, thank you, Yvonne. Appreciate that. G'day, Teresa in the US of A. Welcome. Um, so French Ultramarine Blue, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, or Permanent Alizarin, as it's called in the Artillery Interactives. G'day, Catherine. Hi, Marcia. Welcome. Um, yellow Ochre, Cadmium Red. So these are our booster colors, Cadmium Red. Cadmium yellow and our titanium white. So, um, g'day Martin in Ireland. Welcome. Well, loud and clear. Good. Uh, I'm using a different audio system from yesterday, so uh, I'm hoping that it will. Um, I, I think there was a bit of noise in the the audio yesterday. I wasn't happy with it, and I watched the playback. So hopefully that's better today. Um, so yeah. So this is the little painting that I started. We're going to uh, just do a little bit of work on that. But the main thing here today is testing. And um, g'day Gustavo, welcome, audio is good, thank you. Peter Shaw in Lake Cathy, is that in Australia? I think it is, yeah, I'm pretty sure Peter you're in Australia. Um, so yeah, today's all about testing, I'm working on getting this live stream broadcast set up properly because then I'm going to start doing this on a more regular basis and I want to reach out and connect with you guys. Um, so again, I just want to thank the people who became life members overnight. If you saw my video and email where I was uh, talking about how we need to upgrade the equipment, my computer overheated yesterday, so I want to get a beefier for your computer. And it's only going to benefit you guys who like tuning in on live stream. Um, so Martha Bloomquist, Colin Brown, Pat Wargent, Frank Sudelink, uh, Heather Bowers, Carla Heron, thank you guys very much. You took up the opportunity to become a life member overnight, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, and I hope you enjoy your membership, but also every dollar that you've uh, contributed through that promotion is going back into improving our equipment for our live stream. So everyone gets to benefit from it. So um, let us get underway. This is my usual sort of setup here. And um, hopefully you can see on the screen the subject itself and also the palette. So I'm just playing around with getting this right. So I'd like your feedback. Is this working? Is it not? But you know, in terms of the painting that we started yesterday, I'm doing a little landscape. I've got a row of trees on a hill here. I've got a couple of distant mountains, a little bit of sunlight in the, uh, in the background sky here. And what I want to do now is start to develop this. So effectively, I've got up to step two in the more method of painting, which is the blocking. So now I want to start to develop this painting a bit more. And so the first thing we'll do is just come back in and just re-establish these trees and just block those in a little bit more. So I'll just mix up our dark again. But I'll push that dark pretty much to a, uh, a red tone. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of the cadmium, yellow, uh, the cadmium red into that and a little touch of the yellow ochre. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm really keen on doing the live streams is because I like to interact with you guys and I like you to ask me questions and there's a level of learning that you can get through the live stream that you can't get through the courses and so on, um, which is the opportunity to chat, right? Um, and ask questions. Because, you know, if you email me a question, chances are good. I'm not going to even see the email. I just get that many emails a day. I try and answer everyone. But, you know, I uh, can't always do that. Um, I haven't worked out how to read my questions yet. Both are clear. Thank you, John. Appreciate that, mate. Hope you're doing well over there. You're doing some fantastic work as well. Um, John is. So check out his work over there in Taiwan. I think you are, John. I always get confused. Um, okay, so I'll just get a little bit more of this blocking colour here. Yeah, so John, for those who don't know John, he's quite a regular contributor in our uh, Facebook community. And um, he's also one of our certified, more certified instructors. 
So he's been through the course, did a fantastic job, and is now certified to teach the Moore method of pain. And I believe doing some classes and things over in Taiwan, which is awesome. Okay, let's get a little bit of... I sort of painted around this uh, tree and there's quite a bit of white canvas there, so I'll just work that in. Now, I'm just making this little painting up just by way of um, testing out our equipment and everything. And what I want to know from you guys is when I'm on this shot here, I've got both the palette and the painting here. Are you happy with the way it's set up? Does that help having the palette on the screen like that? Or would you prefer that I just have it cropped in like so? Um, let me know. Let's come back and... I probably won't touch this distant mount, but let's come back and just put a little bit more work into this main mountain here. So yeah, if you know anyone in Taiwan, let me just check. I'm sure John's corrected me if it's not Taiwan. Um, Taiwan, yeah, excellent. So if you know anyone in Taiwan or if you're in Taiwan and you want to uh, take a class with, uh, with John, then by all means do. And um, yeah, thanks for that feedback, uh, Mark. I know that the audio is going to come in and out. I need to work on that. Um, but I will, I will work on that. I, I was using an audio pack, um, but it was producing too much noise yesterday, so I'm just trialling out having a stationary mic. But I, yeah, I, I'm probably not happy with having it like that either. Whoop. Bit too much red in that, and it's a bit too light in value. Can you see that? Um, it's too light, a little bit too much red. I've run out of blue, so I'll get some more blue here. Thank you, Beverly, for that feedback. Yeah, I think I was just chatting to another YouTube artist earlier today, Ian, uh, and we were talking about how it is pretty important that you see how different mixes are made. There's nothing more frustrating than watching a video or you know, DVD, which I used to watch a lot of, where you don't actually get to see the palette. So it's really important to me to uh, make sure that you, we have a setup here where you can see the palette. So thanks for that, Beverly. Let's just test that. That's a bit better. That's closer to what I was looking for. Okay, now this is just a really quick little demo here. As I said, I, my main reason for doing it today is just to test our equipment and get ready to really launch our live streams in a in a bigger way you know, always about improving what we do so that we can spread the magic in painting to more people around the world uh, let's leave a little get a little bit of shift in tone and so on into that okay At the same time, wanting to interact with you guys. Your likes in the palette. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, John. Thanks, Yvonne. Appreciate that. Um, Janet, welcome. Nova Scotia. It's good. Hopefully, you guys are heading into some spring time now. We, I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to be heading into, uh, <laughs> into autumn soon. Another 31 degree high humidity day coming up <laughs> so um we'll probably only go for about 20 minutes here but uh, i'm excited about live stream you know i think it's a it's such a great opportunity what a time and age we live in in the world right now um where we, on our computers we can sit there and interact with people all around the world and um learn to paint it's fantastic. So, I've, what have I mixed up here? Ultramarine blue, uh, a little bit of yellow ochre, and a little bit of our cadmium yellow booster colour here, right? And I've just made this little olivey green mix. And I'm just going to load my brush up. So, you can see, uh, whoop, I'm just going to get that in the right spot. There we go. You can see the 
green there. You can see how much paint. You can see there's a little bit of yellow ochre on the back there as well. Um, and so I haven't fully mixed it in, which I'm fine with that because when I sort of scrub that on, I don't mind if a little bit of that yellow ochre just comes out. Because what it does, is it just shifts that tone a little bit. So look at our sunlight sort of setting over here. So it's going to... Um, sunlight setting over here. It's going to obviously be just clipping on these edges of these trees here. So a little bit of that yellow ochre coming out is all good because that's what we've used in our sunlight. Okay, that's the advantage of using a limited palette. It's the best way to learn about your colours and how to mix them. Okay. So we just add a little bit of that in there. And I just build up the layers just a little bit by a little bit. And um, I think I'm getting better at switching the camera now. That's good. I think it's just going to be a matter of practice. Reading the comments is going to be a challenge. Um, so I've got to work that out. Cheryl, yes, it is a great way to spend the morning. I feel very fortunate that I you know, get to be a full-time artist and um, not only paint for myself, but also share, uh, share with everyone else as well. So... Okay. So obviously, if you see my bald head like that, it's because I'm just checking our comments. Um, okay. Now I'll just get a little bit of the cadmium yellow. I'll just brighten up that green. And again, have a look at the uh, the mix. You know, the paint on the brush there. So I think that this is the one, that, one of the things that you, uh, you don't really see in a lot of DVDs and videos is how they load the brush. And so I want to make sure that you see that. You know, um, there's a fair bit of paint on there, but it's not overly mixed. And um, I, I do that deliberately to just to get broken colour in there. Okay. And if I get it too much on there, I can just work it in and then I can just bring my dark back in to re-establish the darks if I need to. So I think I've got a little bit too much cadmium yellow in there now. So that's okay. I'll just take some blue, a little bit of cad red. Wow, that cad red's powerful. Take some more blue. So we're working better today, I think. Things are going better today than it was. Some of that back in. That cadmium red's pretty strong, isn't it? Keep working on that. And the other thing I'm mindful of is when I'm painting, and this has always been a challenge, demonstrating the painting, is um, not blocking the shot. You know, not me coming in too much, too far across and blocking the shot. So if, if I start doing that, I'd like you just to let me know. Um, just say, hey Rod, you're too much in the shot. Etc. Okay. So you can see just by what I've done there, I, I, I can pull a lot of that highlight out if it's too much. And it's just, painting is really just a matter of constantly sort of correcting what you've done. Um, back and forth, you know, just massaging it back and forth to get the right balance there. After, where about are you, Catherine? Are you in the UK? Because um, I'd like to know when's the best time and, and so on. Yeah, that, that's a good point there, John. Um, I uh, do have a tablet and so on here, so that, that's another step of setting things up. So we'll definitely do that. Thank you, Mark. Yep, with a flexi arm to read the comments. Yep, good point. So I will organise that and I'll just need to find a position within the setup here. So thank you, Mark. I, I agree. Mark, you're in the UK. Um, what time is it there, mate, if you don't mind letting me know? Just because I want to just make sure we schedule times that are going to work for everyone. Okay. Um, and Mark, I believe you're a uh, Bob Ross certified instructor and you've been going through our program as well. So welcome to you. Okay. 
Now, I don't want to have this secondary tree here the same tone, so a little bit more yellow ochre. And I've mainly put that one there as a blocker, stop the eye running down the hill and out the painting. One thing we haven't really talked about a lot is um, controlling the eye movement. Pretty important though, how, how you control the eye movement through a painting, I think. Um, so we'll cover that. We'll, and composition is something I've not really done a lot of work on. So perhaps we'll um, do a little mini course on composition at some stage as well. Feel free to ask me any questions too, guys. Okay. Good, good. Might come in and tackle this hill here now. And as I said, this is just a little rough and ready little landscape, just testing out our setup here more than anything. So we're not going to spend too much time with this one. Although as a composition, I, I kind of like this sort of scene. Um, push out a little bit of that grass up there. G'day Doreen, welcome. Catherine's in Ireland, 1.40 a.m. Okay, that's not a good time, is it? <laughs> Unless you're a, a, a night owl. Um, Rod, you make it look easy. I feel inspired to get my paints out again. Yay, you, Anne. Do it. <laughs> Just get them out. Um, thanks for the demos and tips. I don't know if you're new to what we do here, Anne, but if you are and anyone else is new, make sure you get along to, um, if you've got a pen, write this down, uh, learn to paint dot online forward slash, oh no, yeah, sorry, let me start again. It's www.learntopaint.info and that'll take you to our free course. So learn to paint.info. Um, and yeah, and definitely get the paints out again. If for nothing else, it's good therapy, it's relaxing, it's good fun, you know, it really is. And you can paint along with, with us. G'day Francis, Ireland. Well, I've got a few people from Ireland. Maybe you guys can't sleep. I've been a bit like that lately. Um, just started painting and happens I'm not too bad but loving the tips. Thank you Francis. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. And uh, it's 20 to 1 a.m. Oh, okay. Not 1.40. But it's still pretty late so I appreciate you joining us Catherine. Um, that's awesome. And 12.40. Twelve forty in the UK, yeah. So thanks for that, Mark. Um, so maybe what we need to do is start a little bit earlier, maybe an hour or two. Although daylight saving might be an issue. Yeah, it's tricky to sort of. I do think mornings my time is the best because I get a. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't get my bald head into those shots. Apologies for that. Um, yeah, the uh, mornings Queensland time seems to cover most of Australia. It just means that WA is going to be a little bit challenging for them but I'm not going to be able to reach everybody at the same time unless I do maybe a couple of different time slots each week um, that might be a bit of a solution possibly so you probably heard me say that when you put your grasses down leave some of that underpainting to come through um, because that little bit tint of red there I think adds a little something to greens complement of green of course and notice I'm just getting a little bit darker with those greens as I come down the hill. So the hill's coming over like that. Um, if I have a look here, on the, actually I'll go to the palette cam. There we go. So this is the green I've been mixing here. Cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, and the ultramarine blue, right? Um, but then what I've done then is I've, as I've gone to this darker tone, I've mixed it into this dark area of the palette here. And that's just darkened off my green. And so back to the 
up here now. It's getting just darker as it rolls over the hill because the sun's sitting over this hill here. Make sense? Um, so therefore, as, it, as this hill rolls back that way, it's going to get darker in value. So it's still a green, but it's just darkening off. And then I'm going to put shadow just there. So the way I'll put the shadow is... Uh, let me just show you that. Um, I'm just going to take basically, well you should already know this, but ultramarine blue and the alizarin crimson. I'm going to keep it on the cool side, which means a little bit more blue. Okay. And I'm just going to lay that, lay that in here like so. And I'll take a little hint of it here and there, just up into our grasses, just to create a few little shadow effects in there. And integrate it. Okay. Now I'm doing this quite rough, quite, quite quickly, but you, hopefully you get the general idea. Most important thing is that the live stream is still going and you guys are able to watch it. So we are, as soon as I get the new computer, which will hopefully be in the next week, um, then we will be good to go with the live streams. To, to be able to do all the different things I want to do. So what I'm doing here is just a bit of a limited broadcast. I've got a few other things that I want to do with it. Okay, and one of the things that's important with acrylics, of course, is cleaning your brush. So paper towel, I, I pretty rarely put it in the water um, to clean it, but paper towel just to pull a bit of paint out and um, that helps prevent it getting too muddy. So what I'll do now is I'll just take almost pure yellow, cadmium yellow off the palette here. Okay, see I've loaded it up there. Whoop, no, just gotta get, well yeah, you've got two different camera angles. Um, fair bit of paint there. It's probably a little bit too much, but what I wanna do is just hit a little bit of sunlight right through there. Just there. That's part of the reason why I like these artillery interactives too is that um, you do get quite viscous paint so you can lay it down quite thick and uh, create a bit of texture in there. Mix up a slightly more muted version of that. That's a bit bright. Thank you to whoever's giving me hearts. <laughs> appreciate that. Um, I appreciate all you guys watching and tuning in. Just strengthen that up there a little. Now, one of the things that I'm I've often done with my videos and so on is show you that when I make mistakes and how I edit them, how I fix them, because um, it's too easy, like when you produce videos and courses and so on, it's all too easy to edit those out. But I don't think that's really serving um, the viewer because you know, you're not seeing how, how, to, how to fix mistakes. So I've always tried to put those in Thanks, John. Appreciate the recommendation. Robert, um, using water mixable oils and water mixable linseed oils, Universal bought the brand is Muff Mart. Not entirely sure what you're saying there, Robert, but I, I appreciate you joining us. Um, maybe you could clarify. Oh, you are, maybe you're asking me what we're using. Um, if you are, if you've just joined in, this is Artillia Interactive Acrylic Paint. We will be doing our live streams in both acrylic paint and water mixable oils as we get going. Again, this is just a test just to make sure that um, the live stream broadcast setup is working, which it seems to be today. Um, Vicky loves oils. Thank you. Vicky, 66 and needs something constructed to do. 
take up painting. <laughs> Break out your oils again. Vicky, one of the things we've just recently done is a course in the Learn to Paint Academy, which is on water mixable oils. Highly recommend those because they're not toxic and they don't smell, but they paint just like, um, like oils. So have a look at those. I think they're worth investigating. Um, so, all good. Well, I'm going to wind it up there. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, thank you, Winona. Thanks for joining us again. All right. I, I'm going to leave it there because, again, I just wanted to do another test, make sure that everything's working, which it seems to be. And... Um, I've sort of worked out what else we need to do now to, to improve our live streaming. Um, main thing is going to be getting a new computer, so I'll be doing that next week. And then once I've got that set up, I'll do one more test and then we'll really just get stuck into do, to doing more painting and so on. So thank you all for joining me. Now, if, this is, if you haven't really joined us in the past and you're looking to learn to paint, make sure you go to www.learntopaint.info. That'll take you to the Learn to Paint Academy. And you can register for a free course there. And in the free course, we're going into a lot more detail about the more method of painting. Um, and I think we've had about 25,000 students so far go through the free course. And I'll break it down, three simple steps, three colours, three brushes. And I'll make the whole process easy for you to get started. So go and check that out. Um, it's all good. Thank you, Mark. Overall good, thank you. Appreciate that. Beverly, thank you so much look out for more so if you're on YouTube make sure you subscribe to our channel click the little notification button that, that way you'll see all of our coming live streams as we start to really gear up with the live stream um, so do that and I appreciate all you guys don't forget to get a fan to cool you down mark that's a good point if you if you were on our video yesterday you'll know that my next step is to get air conditioning and, and everything in, in the studio here so I will be doing that I know I do look hot and sweaty so appreciate that thank you but that is definitely part of the plan uh, and if you're on Facebook make sure you like our page at learn to paint Academy um, g'day Louise in Canada thanks for joining us Cheryl, we do do some painting in watercolour. We have a couple of courses at the Learn to Paint Academy. Um, we probably won't be doing it in the live stream though. Um, but if you go to the Learn to Paint Academy, we've got two courses there. But thank you for joining us. Martin, if I ever make it to Ireland, you'll buy me a guineas. I'll buy you one back. I'd love to come to Ireland. Um, so if you know anybody over there who organises workshops for painting, um, let's chat. So that's all good. Thanks, Doreen. Cheryl, thank you. Catherine, Michelle, hi Rod, I can't hear you. My sound is turned up full. Uh, well, I think that might be your end possibly, Michelle, because um, I haven't had anyone else say that. So, uh, But anyway, I, I am testing a different audio setup here today and it's a work in progress, so we'll keep working on that. And uh, g'day, Anne-Marie. <laughs> I'm glad too. Haven't quite perfected it yet. We're still working on it, but welcome. Well, actually, we're just winding up, so you've joined us at the end, but um, good to see you, and you're doing some nice work there as well. And um, All right, we're going to wind it up there. Thank you all, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you so much for joining me and your feedback and everything. Um, it really helps, and um, look out for more live streaming and more courses and everything from Learn to Paint Academy, and cheers for now.